Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Supreme Ruler Ultimate Multiplayer with me, Benjamin, me, Benjamin Magnus. I'm here. Yes, I, this guy. Who's your mom? <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you heard that game. tale, Mordred? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> okay. You know, what was that, Civ 6, Bob? I think it was. Oh, man, that's, that's cool. With me, this guy. Me, Buddhist this guy. Bob. <laughs> Buddhist for Bob. All right, move to... Okay, I'm moving my, my new French planes to Königsberg. Oh, these are patrol craft. Okay. Oh, right, okay, we, let's we put you guys in the service. Right? Yeah, what is, what's yeah, the I'm difference good. between patrol and intercept? Well, patrol craft is like AWAC. Right, it's like it's uh, like a scout aircraft. So it's oh, recon. Okay. I mean, some of them can carry missiles, and some of them do have attack values. But I mean, they're really there to provide you like line of sight for stuff, spotting submarines, that kind of thing. Gotcha. Yeah, like Bob had some pat uh, patrol aircraft that he could. Get yeah, it was the back, hero yeah. Orion. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. He could use some of those missile uh, artillery pieces to, or anti-aircraft pieces to hit those helicopters in. Uh, former Estonia because <laughs> apparently they have that much range so like I so if I want my my like f-18 hornets to do some intercepting like like to guard the line what do I set them to uh, I Air think patrol? the best I mean Roach will have I think an opinion on on that himself but I think the best plan and this is something I've kind of been learning recently about um, managing them properly as well as like missiles and stuff Figure out what their engagement range is for it, and then set them that far away from wherever it is that you think the air combat is going to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, so like your, let's see here, your F 18 D Hornet can engage mid air targets at 95 kilometers. So, patrol roughly 95 kilometers away from the border, I think, is the best plan because it keeps them a little bit further out of harm's way. So that they'll intercept aircraft first before assuming that they come within range and the other aircraft are going to like attack another target first, like your tanks and shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Hornet will then engage the air targets as they come into range. Instead of being right on top of stuff. Okay. So like I could take the, the Hornet and I'll say, and how, how many kilometers is a doodle? Well, one hex is 16 kilometers, okay. but there is that measuring tool that you can use. Gotcha, gotcha. So air patrol is the... so. Put them on air patrol, like, a couple hexes back would be good. Yeah. I mean, that keeps them in the air. That way you don't have to micromanage them all the time. But they will, they'll prioritize completing the air route over combat. Oh. You know, so as they're flying by, like, enemy target, they'll hit the target, but they're going to keep going. They're not going to stick around and hit the target. Russian mer merchant marines are showing back up. Well, they're about to get messed up. Well, you, yeah, you got a couple, like, frigates stationed off Königsberg, so you're sinking them as they pew, pop pew, in. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, with the Dutch oil derrick over here. Yeah, <laughs> fuck the Dutch. <laughs> you're welcome to take it now. Uh, oh, wow, the United F States F does FYI not do to all shit. My Dutch viewers, who make up roughly 16% of my viewing audience, love you guys. I just... <laughs> oh, I thought that was going to go a different direction, be like, fuck you for a second. <laughs> I really thought I was not going to go that way. <laughs> I just well, the paid the United States to get nuclear weapons research. The, like, the, the not even Trump a lot. is selling nukes out to the world? Like, yes. It's just good it's just good business, you know? I'm a businessman. It's good business. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's well, get some more. Well, the is definitely kind of coming back into prominence here. I'm getting more and more planes. They're not going to be able to do shit against the Russian interceptors, but they're there. So, like, the, so the Russian interceptors are flying, like, above our maximum combat range, basically? Yeah, so, like, there's, the, there's I mean, you know about the three classifications of air targets? Yeah, there's, there's it's basically short, medium, and, and, and long. Right, so Russian interceptors, at least the ones I've encountered, are all high targets, and they fly faster and hit harder. <laughs> than, like, what we have available. So I wonder, United States, can you get maybe, like, an interceptor or something from the United States, Roach? Because Trump won't talk to me. I've got a neutral attitude towards him, but, I mean, yeah, let's check. I mean, see if he's got, like, a like an interceptor that's as good or better, maybe. Let's see here. F-22A Raptor. Uh, 
I'm assuming that's probably got a good... I can't see the air target thing from here, though, so that's a problem. Uh, let's see um, here. Do you have to load missiles, like, manually onto your planes? Okay, so missiles is a whole other thing here, and we can go over that. Uh, so, uh, for your aircraft, what do you want your aircraft to do? Like, what kind of targets do you want them to hit? Uh, I want them to shoot down Russian planes. Okay, so there's no air-to-air -air missiles that are separate. There's anti-ship and, like, okay. air-to-ground. Okay, so the air-to-air -air missiles are just, you know, it's just assumed that they're on the planes. Yeah, I think it's assumed that, like, everybody's got, like, some kind of, like, Sidewinder or something, like, already on their aircraft. Well, we got Sidewinder, so only 40% of them work right, correct. All right, Bob, I've got F-22A Raptors, so Yay. you can buy them off me. And I do mean buy them because I had to, I had to pay money for those. How much money? I mean, it was it was a bit. Just just give me like it'll give you like an auto counter offer if you leave the area, like if you put the the design inside of uh, the the box, the opposite box of what you're offering. There's a little like uh, weight, like mm, a six, scale. Six billion dollars is a lot of money for me. Well, I mean, I I will have to I will have to get back to you on that as soon as my because I'm still repairing the French. Oh, just take the damn things then. <laughs> take the. Tech. <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll be in the money, but it's going to be a planes. while. Can I have them? Take the, I, take I the don't technology. Have them take it. Just, just take it. Give me, give me something. I, I don't care. Just, just don't make it nothing. I, I have to go back to my people, and I have to explain I need a why we gave at it. least, at least a pittance. <laughs> How about two hundred thousand tons of grain? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I will trade you these bananas for that plate over there. <laughs> Oh, so I have a, a question um, about the UI. Yes. Uh, so, like, when I go look at my military goods, uh, it shows the production um, split into two bars. One is, like, shaded dark blue, and the other one is shaded light blue. And that's the only one that where the bar is shaded different colors. Really, that's a roach that? to explain, because I've got it pretty good at working understanding how that is. Which I think the, the dark is what you're actually producing for the production bar, anyway. Blue is actual production that's being used, and then light blue is what you're producing but not using? No. The, uh, no? The, the light blue is what you lack raw materials to produce. Oh, okay. This is why so my I Dutch produce... economy crashed. <laughs> okay, so what, what what do they need to be produced? They need... Uh, let's see here. Probably missing rubber then. Yeah, Whole missing rubber. rubber, oil, and metal. So rubber is the only thing I, I'm lacking. But I have rubber, that's the thing. I have 40 million pounds. No, that's uh, that's oil. That's rubber. I have none. I have 7,000 rubber in the bank. You should so be producing it then. Should I, shouldn't I be... Should I be fine then? You should be. Because it says use is 710, and then I got 7,164 in stock. In that case, huh. I don't know. Because the problem I had with the Dutch was I ran out of money to buy raw materials to produce consumer goods, which was like the very basis of my economy, and my entire production line went light blue. Oh, okay. All right, I could use another industrial goods factory. All right. Well, that was, uh, yeah, just... I can get things from the United States for pretty much a uh, sticker price. Italy, arms dealer of Europe. <laughs> I don't know I if that, How's that F-22? Like, is it, let me, is actually, it actually, let me actually look at it. I haven't actually looked at the stats on the damn thing. F-22 Raptor. No, it can't attack our high air targets. I'll go back. Look, <laughs> look. <laughs> So what what do you need to attack high? Do you, do you need a high altitude interceptor? Okay, and so, is the F twenty two not that? It's not that. No. I mean, what what we need is something to. What we need to be able to do is nullify essentially Russia's air power advantage. Are we looking for them at sea? Which is are we looking for multi rolls? Anything that can attack high air targets. Well, I can't see that from the screen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, like I think my Warsaw class ships can attack 
air targets that are high. Let me take a look. There you go. Have some free ship designs. But the thing is that those inter are so their inter we if we can't hit the interceptors, their interceptors okay. are going to destroy our aircraft. I I just picked up uh, the F thirty five A Lightning, and I think a, I think a, a, like the the last version of a Tomcat. Uh, the the deal's going through right now. He's probably going to fleece me for, for some more money, but uh, then you'll have your goddamn. Don't you have trillions of dollars? <laughs> I have I've I've invested it in things. Okay, like I I've invested it from having no coal production to oh uh, poor, having... poor Italy two hundred ninety three billion dollars in the bank. <laughs> I wish I had that kind of money. I mean, my own game, I've got like two trillion dollars in the bank myself right now, just like Tez Germany, so but so went from I... having no coal production to having forty seven uh thousand four hundred and sixty six tons of coal production. So I seem to that's... remember similar uh words coming from Romania about their oil production. <laughs> Do you want do you want these technologies or not? Are, are they are they coming to me? Well, sooner or later. Well, I mean, they're going to be flying over your skies because Germany's helping you. Where is a good air base here? I just got some some domestically produced designs for Portuguese planes. Ships. Ships. F F seventy one is a ship. Okay. Uh, that wasn't from me then. I just gave everyone the Belarus ship design. I thought I said Portugal. F-71 Balearis. Yeah, Bel that's a ship. That's cool. Uh, someone just asked... Yeah, that, I can't that, thing, that thing isn't really that good. It's, it's got a limited range and it can't really attack targets very well. It's an okay missile platform. Uh, it was just the only one that I can get that's for green pips. <laughs> That's what I'm judging everything on. So somebody asked me, um, what was it again? What about Belarus? Uh, Putin didn't have any issue with Belarus, which is why I am 100% confident that my uh, defensive line doesn't need to cover the Belarusian border. You're, you're Belarus has yeah. declared war on, on Poland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, go with the French ideology pre-World War II. Hey, I mean, nobody... We're never no going to get attacked by, <laughs> no by problem Belgium. With that. Belgium will never attack us, and it's not like the Germans would do that thing again that they did in the first war. Uh, <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> look, look at where the border is. No, I'm talking about during World War. Right. China knows that I need rubber, so they're trying to. They're offering me to, to sell me rubber at ten times market value. I think I'm gonna go ahead and decline that. God, even okay. the C the CA one Peregrine that I can I can research, which is a inter interceptor, that doesn't even have a high air target value. But do I have to air, air oh. defense? Anything? It's, anybody? It looks like you're gonna need some like anti aircraft. Well, the Mead system attacks. Remember at the high air, but it's like it's three. Like three. What about anti air oh, missiles? Hold on. Let me go back to the United States. It is something though. It, it is, and I'm, I am producing a whole bunch of meads right now to, like, stick on that Polish border. I mean, oh, wow. The, uh, the United States has uh, quite a few. Like, uh, like you, you, the mead system, you're, that's the, uh, that's the M-E, that's the M-I-M, like, two something, right? Like, what, what's, because mm -hmm. they have a, they have the MIN-210 THAD system here as well. So does, does anybody know why my hydroelectric dams aren't building? It's probably because you don't have enough uh, industrial goods. goods. How do you tell if you have the industrial goods or not? Uh, look at your... Well, I mean, it's... it's like, are you buying industrial goods? Are you importing enough to cover what you're using? So go to your... Okay, industrial, that's the middle one. I produce more than I use. Ooh, you know what I bet it is? Cause I think it said that it requires 160,000 industrial goods to build. 
gold. I have 74,000 in stock, so I bet it won't start until I get to that 160. Yeah, you should probably lock out your minister from selling them. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, how do I... Okay, I, I can figure this out. Market exports. I won't tell you unless you actually try. Is yeah, it high altitude targets here to be ballistic missiles, though? Ballistic missiles do count as high air targets, but you also have... Um, there's some there's there are aircraft that do count as high 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 air targets like the SR-71 would be a high air target. Now, spe specific to our situation, there are I know Russian interceptors at least. I don't know about the multi rolls and stuff like that, and tactical bombers, but I know that the the interceptors that the Russians do field do count as high air targets. And the problem is that right, their high air targets are hard to hit, and that causes them to destroy our aircraft before they can bomb like their targets. So Russia has air superiority, and we're trying to combat that. What's up, Roach? Okay, so the F-35A Lightning II Joint Strike Fighter and the F-A-18D Hornet, uh, which I now have both of, uh, do not have high air target values. Well darn. <laughs> My chats. Uh, hey, Minister, where are the resources we need for the production of these dibs? Oh, those? Sold them. <laughs> So what I did was I went to. Okay, now it changed. Okay, so I got to tell him. You the remember? There's the little lock button. Right. Okay. So lock, and then put sell because I I put the sell, 100% of surplus production down to zero, and then he jacked it right back up. So if yeah. I lock it, then put it at zero, then he can't change it, right? Mm-hmm. Keep, 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 keep in mind that he's not also not going to be able to change the price at all of it. So uh, if you do want to sell at a lower price or higher price, you have to do that yourself. Okay. Yeah. So probably just wait until you start production of those things, and then, then. Uh, well, like I know, make forty five hundred a day, and I use four thousand a day, so I just have that slight. I'm just making a little tiny bit more than I'm producing. I'm using a. I'm making a little bit less than I'm producing. Indonesia. They want to sell me another, like, billion dollars worth of rubber? Yep. Diplomatic offer from the United States for bulk quantities of industrial goods. Accept that. High-quality American metal that was made in China. <laughs> <laughs> Does everybody remember the uh, Make America Great Again hats? All had the Made in China us, uh, you, you know, sewn into the into the brim of them? Yeah. That was a thing. Diplomatic Apparently, he's been going on and on about the whole, about the, you know, Foxconn, the guys that, that uh, make, like, iPads and iPhones and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the ones that over in China, like, they have suicide nets on their mm -hmm. so, yeah, their so factories. to catch the people who want to kill themselves. Yeah. Um, they're building, or they're hypothetically building a plant in Seattle, I think. It's one of those East Coast, uh, big cities. I think it might be in Seattle. Uh, and Should they bring uh, in the suicide nets? Well, the thing is, is that they're... Uh, I, mean, I was is, just thinking, like, from Seattle, that actually sounds pretty fitting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, maybe, I think maybe people would want to get a job and get out of the rain. Uh, <laughs> but they, uh, they've been trying to get this off the ground for a while, and he's like going, oh, it's going to bring a lot of jobs, it's high paying, really great. Uh, but uh, he, he doesn't go into the fact that they tried doing the same thing in Pennsylvania, and not only did it cost the U.S. like billions of dollars, but they never opened the plant. <laughs> uh, and it's, they just got like a whole bunch of tax breaks and shit, and they, and like the area they were going to build the plant is still like open. It's like a, it's just like a, like an open bit of field with like fence around it. <laughs> Apparently they've been doing it for a while. <laughs> Selling conditions for in, in, in military goods unfavorable. I don't know. I feel like it would be the world's in in flames. So, does the Polish <laughs> Navy still exist? Um, if by Polish Navy you'd mean Polacks in German ships, then yes. There's plenty of Portuguese ships out there. In fact, there's mm -hmm. submarines out here too, right, right on the coast. Right. Yep. Uh, um, right. The uh, the Polish Navy, which is primarily small frigates and submarines, um, is patrolling the coastline um, from Königsberg north uh, across the uh, the former. What is like, going on here? 
There are a million Russian planes circling. What is going on up there? Are these like, is that a rebellion? Uh, I don't know what's going on here. In civil are they war? trying to? Are they trying to hit your spy? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't, did you, no, wait, wait, is looking at your, all those planes circling? Is it your anti-aircraft guns that are in the uh, that are on the island? Yeah. Maybe it's that. Maybe it's your because that you have your mead there. Yeah, but it sounds like there's a it's a it's the bomb dropping sound, which my yeah. mine sounds like a, a rocket going off. Yeah, I heard there's the something. Pew, 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 there's also pew. in Saint Petersburg. Are they trying to shoot at my spies? I think they are. I think they're bombing their own stuff. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Interesting. Nice. I never knew that was like a thing. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. It's okay, on, guys. But... We've we've sabotaged a tourist attraction in Russia. <laughs> Uh -oh, How's the, war going? the war is going um, statically for the most part. Which war? The war with ISIS or the war, or the war with Russia? I need to take the yeah. sweatshirt off. Oh my. Oh, oh, oh. Portugal's got the uh, ah! commercial internet at last. What's that? <laughs> it, it's this thing where you can buy and sell stuff, apparently. I don't know. We See, only just I, got I it. I'm you doing do. all they of just the got Amazon. Cool. Yeah, they totally the cool just, my spy was destroyed at Gachita. They're totally bombing my spies. They 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 figured out which building he was in. We're back to trench warfare, kind of. Close. I mean, I have a feeling that's going to devolve into hurling missiles at long ranges here at uh, at some point. Because I I have MLRSs that I'm building, and I have like you know uh, you know ground to ground missiles that are being produced like on mass. Uh, for artillery systems that are going to be deployed on the Polish border, assuming that, you know, Lithuania suddenly finds itself under, you know, Russian administration. Maybe it would be a good idea to, to get, a, like, a transit treaty with Lithuania. Yeah, so all this bombing that's been going on here, they're totally, like, kicking the shit out of their own airfield and synthetic plants up here near St. Petersburg right now. Cool. That, hmm... <laughs> I'm fortifying the Magnu line. Well, one of the strategies that, that we can employ is just simply um, by sabotaging their stuff that forces them to spend more money on, like, industrial goods to fix it. So, um, like, if, if, you do, if you do what I, I do, I mean, it, it costs you some money to do this. You could, uh, you know, like, sabotage their facilities and force them to spend a whole bunch of money. I mean, how much do they have in the bank, actually, Russia? They have six billion in the bank, so they're actually not that that rich. Not as rich as I thought. I they have were. twenty billion in the bank. Ah, uh -huh. that's it's not a lot. Well, I'm just saying, is I have more than Russia, and also shut up. You used to be Romania. I have two billion, and it's holding kind of steady at that. Get in some modern coal gasification of. Yeah, now I'm going to deploy spies around Moscow and see how they like that. See if they bomb <laughs> shit out of their capital. Yeah, I've never seen them attack spies like that before. Though I've never actually spied on a country I'm at war with like this, though. I'm making a minus. Yeah, I'm making a minus because I just, you know, you know, I've been doing mass amounts of purchasing and construction. Will you actually try to win this war? Me versus the Soviet Union. For me, winning is not being dead. <laughs> Again, I love how we call it the Soviet Union. It's not the Soviet Union. Okay, okay. So who is Russia? <laughs> Russia. He wants to get the band back together, yes, but it's not Soviet Union. Well, I don't know. He's, 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 <laughs> he's, he's, he's got his bassist back. Well, we will attack when Russia runs out of manpower. Is that a, can they run out of manpower? There are like active and reserve military personnel, but I don't know like what governs. Like I don't know if they return to the pool. Like if the unit is destroyed, like I don't know what the math is on that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm in the negative. Uh, you know, I'm making less money. Uh, 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 you know, a deficit because I started 38 new constructions. It's a bit. Just just a little bit. I was, ISIS is doing fine. They're just kind of sitting there right now. Are repairing stuff right now. That's what they're doing for the new oil fields in Romania. Probably signing signing a new weapons deal with Trump. They've got a lot of oil now. Yeah. 
Yeah, that... I don't even want to know how much they're producing. So when you're looking at the, like, if I'm looking at the attack, you know, the air attack values of anti-air units, so it'll say 31, 35 kilometers. Does that mean it'll do 31 damage at 35 kilometers? Right. Okay. That's good to know. Does it tell me when this is done? Yes. Just keep bombing your cities, Russia. I'm sure you'll get that spy eventually. <laughs> <laughs> can i finally build the dam i don't think i have enough industrial doodles yet i got 111,000. the georgian republic wants to sell military goods to me uh, i don't really need that maybe i could just go to trump and ask uh No, he's, don't influence him. He's been he's been pretty nice to me, giving me all kinds of shit. <laughs> he's, oh, he's already he's already sending me. It's because you want to engage in business with him. <laughs> yeah, he's already sending me. Does anybody uh, produce an excess of industrial goods? <laughs> uh... <laughs> no. I think that's a no. <laughs> I think that's a pretty solid no. Hooray! Now we know about a better missile for our air launch stuff. Missiles. Maybe you can get something those. that can hit high air targets. No, no. No, there's no air to air missiles, remember? Or ground to air? Or SAMs or anything? Really? Because I had Patriot missile launches. Yeah, but those, those don't hit air targets. Those don't hit air targets. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> he probably he clearly Go back to play with your go back go back to play with your, your plastic boats in Portugal. <laughs> Okay, my industrial That's probably goods a good production idea. has gone down. Land a lot, launch, air launch, EMAG 07 ricochet. Yeah. No, my production has not gone down. My production is the same it was. My, my usage has gone up because I've done a shit ton of um, construction. Do ground based rail guns exist? I don't know. There's laser weapons later. I know that. There are railguns. When you get Albania. to like Tech 200 on land uh, warfare stuff, there's a uh, there there are uh, tanks that are armed with railguns. Would like to let know the Polish premier know that there are just a whole bunch of Polish aircraft still sitting in uh, in France near Paris. Oh, really? Like a lot. Oh wow. So there are. Uh, so you guys are gonna. Go, I'm paying for your damn salaries right now in maintenance. So you guys are gonna go <laughs> go into reserve. Uh, where's my air base? I thought it was it. Oops, sorry. Oh, oh, oh! That Jesus was me. <laughs> no, that was me. I was I was trying to pause it because we're at twenty. <laughs> ah, right. A heart attack. So who was it? Then? It was me. It was Ben. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you have been enjoying. Uh, if you want to watch, because if you're watching this on YouTube, you can watch these lives by tuning into our, our Twitch channels. Links can be found in... Uh, so maybe we'll put them in... I don't know. I haven't put them in the description, but they're definitely in the YouTube banner. And we will see all of you guys next time. See you later. Goodbye. Bye.